not going to run anymore, it wouldn't be the crowd to do that. Well, I was waiting to see uh, uh, how many other candidates uh, would run and uh, kind of what they were talking about and what, what their uh, platforms were. And uh, none of them were talking about the serious issues that I was concerned about, and so I decided to run. And so that was the one thing that um, I saw in your March 3 order. Talk, you had talked about the national debt and how you wanted to change that. What are some of the plans that you have in mind? Well, I, as I said, uh, I, I think the, the, the most critical issue facing our country today that is a serious financial threat is our out of control uh, deficit spending and the uh, skyrocketing national debt. Our, our national debt uh, is uh, has 22 and a half trillion dollars now, and that is greater than our gross domestic product, and it's six times uh, our annual revenue. So we are literally broke, and Congress is failing uh, to uh, acknowledge that and cut spending. That's the only way we can reduce the deficits and reduce the national debt is for Congress to collectively decide that we've got to cut spending. So when you talk about the national debt, what, what are some other issues that you have in mind? What about um, like immigration? Well, I think immigration uh, is a serious issue. And I know we've had some employees uh, that it, it's taken years for them to get their green cards and, and work on their citizenship. I think Congress needs to streamline that process. Uh, we need to, uh, uh, President Trump talks about a merit system. I, I think we ought to certainly uh, focus on bringing qualified uh, individuals into our country and help them get their citizenship. Okay, Talk a little bit about your background. So I know you were the mayor here in Midland for a while um, and just your experience. Well, I, I was mayor uh, in Midland uh, and, and also in the Midland City Council. Uh, uh, I am, I'm a certified public accountant. I've worked uh, as a chief financial officer and chief executive officer for public and private companies. And then I've spent uh, 20 years as a CPA in, in public, uh, public accounting or auditing. And so I bring both uh, political experience and then I also bring business experience. And then certainly I bring a, a lot of accounting and auditing experience. So you're like the great person to talk to you about when it comes to the national debt and everything. Well, truly, I, I, what, that's the other issue is I, I feel like of all the candidates, I am the best qualified candidate with my experience to help address this issue. It is a very difficult issue. I've talked to Mike Conaway a lot about this, about the, the debt and uh, the deficits, uh, and it, he's worked on that, but it's, it's something that Congress has to agree to work together and compromise on, on cuts. Uh, right now, they spend, a, they, they spend a lot of time compromising on spending, and so they, they've got to focus on reducing the debt, and that's painful. There, it, it's going to be a painful process uh, but right now, they're forecasting deficits for the next 10 years of, of, of a trillion dollars. And a trillion dollars is a thousand billion dollars. And so uh, it is a massive number that Congress and the citizens need to demand because we are forcing that down on our children and grandchildren. Uh, and we created this problem in the past 12 years. So I'm con I, am, I am concerned uh, about uh, the issues that we have uh, caused, that w and we're going to just kick the can down the road and force our kids and grandkids to solve a, just a massive debt situation. So let's say if, if there is a plan to solve that, um, I guess how long is it going to take to recover? Because that's, that's a lot of money. It is, and like I say, we got into this situation uh, in the last 12 years by deficit spendings of an average of a trillion dollars a year. And we won't get out of that overnight, but I think we have, or Congress has to decide that we're going to cut 10% across, uh, across the board or focus on those areas where we can eliminate inefficiencies, uh, whether it's uh, hiring freezes or salary cuts or eliminating agencies that, are, that can be pushed down to the state and local uh, levels. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a problem that in both Democrats and Republicans are going to have to agree to solve. It won't be solved overnight, but we just nibble away at the problem and say we set a, a goal of, of a 5% reduction or a 10% reduction, and every year stay focused on that. There is a lot of a political division right now, especially at the White House. Do you think that the best way to go about that is having open conversations, both Republicans and Democrats? Oh, totally. I agree. That's the way things get done in Washington, and, and, and you're right. There is a great divide between Republicans and Democrats right now, 
And we need to lower that uh, negative rhetoric and, and just focus on what's best for the country. And we get that done when both parties agree. We can't all get 100% of what we want, but the Republicans and Democrats have to say, we're going to try to get you know, 50% of what we want, and then we'll come back and try to work on it the next year. I think the Second Amendment rights should be totally protected. Uh, I, I think it's kind of been blown out of proportion. 99.9% .9 of the gun owners are absolutely law-abiding uh, uh, citizens. And it's only that very, very small percentage of people that maybe have some mental issues or, or whatever. Uh, so that, that's basically tainting the whole situation. And so you've got a very, very small percentage of people um, that are trying to take away the rights of, of the majority, and that's just not right. I, uh, I think there can be some, uh, s some possible controls, uh, maybe with the mentally ill, um, but I think uh, I am totally in favor of protecting, uh, and I am not gonna confiscate our, our guns uh, or a buyback or whatever, because that is a constitutionally protected right, uh, and I think uh, uh, the citizens of, of, you know, of America realize that that's a protected right, and it's for our own self-protection. Well, right now, we've just started, and, and really, uh, the next phase is, is raising money, uh, and that's a difficult part. I, it's embarrassing how much money it takes to run for Congress. Uh, some of the estimates are a million dollars for each candidate to raise locally, uh, and that's uh, with all the other campaigns and the presidential campaigns and the, and the Senate campaign. Uh, we're asking for a lot of money of our citizens and our supporters, but uh, uh, it, it will take uh, close to a million dollars, particularly in this case, there will be a runoff. So it's expensive to get your message out. Or do you have any plans to visit other cities or maybe smaller communities to just kind of get your face out there and things of that nature? Oh, absolutely. The, the district is 29 counties, and it goes all the way from the New Mexico border uh, almost to Fort Worth, and it's a huge district. And uh, I hope to go to every county uh, and, and do meet and greets and talk and, and have uh, programs where I, where I listen to the citizens. We have a website, uh, J.D. Faircloth for Congress, uh, and we're just starting to develop that, and we've got some information out there, but uh, it's a long race. Uh, it, we've still got several more months, and, uh, but uh, we're developing that, and we're going to be in a, basically a fundraising uh, stage next for the next month or so. Well, I, I think if you'll look at all the candidates, and, and I've spoken to many of them, and they're, and they're really fine individuals, uh, and, and they have uh, various talents, but I think overall, based on the, uh, my, my qualifications and experience, I have an MBA, uh, I think I am the best candidate uh, to represent uh, the citizens and taxpayers of, of District, uh, District 11. How has the support been? Family, friends, the community? Oh, it's just been tremendous. I mean, it's just uh, everybody thinks I'm crazy, but... Uh, I'm, I'm dedicated. I, I think this is an important issue that if we don't send qualified people to Washington, we're just going to keep kicking the can down the road. Uh, and I'm not going to be a very popular person when you start cutting uh, expenditures, uh, but I think I can work with like-minded uh, members of Congress, and we can work on this, and we can get things done. Wonderful. Is there anything I didn't ask you that you would like to That's it. Okay, great. Good. Okay. You did really good. Very good. On your run. Well, I've, awesome. I've been in this studio before. Good. <laughs> so it's all familiar to you. Totally. Well.